Hi everybody. Hi everyone, it's us, Darlene and Skyla. We have a challenge today that I kind of sort of made up. I'm sure probably people have done this exact thing, but I told Sandy one day that I thought we should do a challenge where we go to the Dollar Tree and buy five things for our, for our pizza. For our recipe. You have to go to Dollar Tree and buy five things and you can only use those five ingredients to make whatever you're making. With the exception of water, salt, and pepper, but Anything else, you have to have it at Dollar Tree, and you're only allowed to spend up to $5. So today, we went in. You'd be surprised how many things you can buy at Dollar Tree. Now, I know Dollar Tree is not all, all over the world, but many of you have them in the United States. So I'm sending this challenge out to any of you who want to try this, specifically in my mind. Courtney, I'm thinking of you. And even Running Kimono, who has her own coupon channel. You're a couponer. You like deals, so maybe you'd like to get in on this. Shauna, I'd love to have you in on it. Aspen, would love to have you. Any of you, if you have a channel and you want to go out and spend five bucks at Dollar Tree to try to make something, doesn't have to be a dessert. We're making pizza. And uh, let me know, and I will promote your video. Try to get you some new subscribers. Can I have you show them? Yes. So we have. Start with the crust. We walked by and we, we were surprised. Went, we went and we got. A pizza crust, two pizza crusts for seven minutes? Seven inch pizza Se crust. Seven inch pizza crust. And the Camillo brand. And there's two of them, so we'll be making two small pizzas. And my mommy won't have one. I'm not going to be eating one. It's one's for Skylar, one's for Grand Mame, and I might have a slice. Now do the sauce. We were concerned that we didn't have sauce, but we, we found sauce. We have pizza it's, sauce. And it's Rinaldi pizza sauce. Next for the pepperoni? Yes. Um, now we have pepperoni, two pouches. We got that for a dollar. And we got nacho cheese sauce. See, we have to we have to make do with what they have because I thought we're not going to be able to buy any shredded cheese. Our Dollar Tree does not have a refrigerated section like some do. So we thought of I said maybe some cheese sauce or cheese spread. So Skylar went we went to the chip aisle and we found that. Next we have this last thing is a chunk pineapple can. And in case some of you don't know, we have such a thing here, at least in Maine, called Hawaiian pizza, and it's ham and pineapple, and it is delicious. We don't have ham, but we have pepperoni, and my mother could have had all kinds of other ingredients, but Skylar didn't want mushrooms, she didn't want black olives. So I suggested pineapple. My mother's favorite pizza is ham and pineapple, but she'll like pepperoni and pineapple. So Skyla said she wanted to try it. So those are our five ingredients, and we are going to take you over to the counter. What are you watching? The TV's not even on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's all in, in the zone. <laughs> and we will um, show you how we whip up this pizza, so we'll be able to make two pizzas for $5, plus we're going to have a lot of ingredients left over. So I'm guessing you probably could bake at least four pizzas, maybe even six, with the ingredients that we have here. So if you made six six pizzas, that would only be an extra two dollars. So for seven bucks, you could make six individual pizzas. I think that's a good price. And you wouldn't even have to have the, the toppings that we have. Let's get over to the counter and get started. Okay, we are trying a sideways angle because Skyla will be the one doing these. Please go wash your hands very good. And I just want to let you know that these pizza crusts, it says to preheat oven to 450. It says brush lightly with oil. But since I did not buy oil at Dollar Tree, I'm going to skip that step. And I'm just going to put the ingredients. We're just going to go ahead and make both. And it says we can put it on the rack or on a pizza pan. And I don't know if they'll both fit on this, but I'm going to try to put them on this. And I put some foil down just for easy cleanup. We have a pan right here. Yes. So here's your two pizzas. Can we fit them both? Let See if we can fit them side by side. Yes. Good. And well, it's a little tight. So we have seven inch pizza crust right here on the pan. Oh, we're swapping out to a bigger pan. Yes, it worked. It smells like bread. Okay, next is the sauce. The sauce. You need a spoon and I'm going to let you put the sauce. We need two spoons for each of us. No, you're going to just use one spoon to... Okay, no, I'm going to give you a bigger spoon than that, sweetie. Okay. 
And this is, like we said, Rinaldi pizza sauce. Next is the sauce. And you can just put some on each one and spread it a little bit. And then the same on the other. Spread that, see if that's enough. Mine Let's put the ingredients next and then the cheese. Because it's a cheese sauce, so we'll just put that on the top. Next, I'm going to let her do the pepperoni as I open the can of pineapple. You do yours and I do mine. No. Please. You're the chef. Please. Oh my gosh, I have to work? <laughs> yes. We're both the chef. I didn't know there was two, there's two packages like this. This is mine, that one's yours. I will actually do it too. We're going to open the can of pineapple. I squeezed as much juice as possible out of the pineapple, and I told Skyla that I wanted to make a punch. We are actually going to use the 100% pineapple juice that was in this can to make a punch. Next, you're gonna put some pineapple. You don't have to put too many. You put as many as you want on yours. You want me to do Grand Maze? Uh -huh. Okay. Next is the nacho, nacho cheese, cheese sauce. sauce. I don't want too much on mine. You want me to do it? Yeah, don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do mine. You're yeah. going to do yours? Okay. Yeah. So you just do like I'm doing. I could just take a little bit with the spoon. to put the pizzas inside the oven. Well, it's got to beep first. Almost preheated. We will be putting this, it says seven to 10 minutes, so I'll check them at seven. Oh, time to put them in. This is what we have. I let it cook for 10 minutes because seven did not seem like enough. <laughs> so what we're going to do is let this cool a little bit and then Skylar is going to do a taste test. I'm going to do a taste test too. We'll both do it. Okay? okay? Be back in just a bit. Okay, going to cut the pizza. Which one was yours? Do you that remember? One. Okay, we're gonna go with Skylar's here. Now we are going to do the taste test. And you can tell I'm hot. Huh? Let's count on three and say what we're supposed to say. One, one two, two, three. Hot alert! Okay, you gotta practice this. Hot alert! Look like Hot alert! Okay, one, two, two three. three. Hot alert! <laughs> <laughs> we are going to taste these pieces right here that we cut. I think it looks pretty good, but it's going to be messy, so we have a towel right here. Okay, come on. She takes the little piece that I cut from me. <laughs> one, two, three. Mmm. That tastes like nachos. With the pepperoni, it's a little bit spicy. That's awesome. Do love. You like it? I think it's very good. And again, we could have probably made six, probably even eight if you don't need a lot of sauce. But definitely six. We could have made six pizzas with the little jar of sauce. And of course, you can make whatever you want, but in case you were wondering, Dollar Tree has pizza crusts. You can get one whole pizza crust or you can get two smaller ones for a dollar. We want to challenge anybody out there who wants to try going to Dollar Tree, make anything you want, five ingredients max. You can use less, but you can't use more. And the only ingredients you can use at home would be water, salt, and pepper. So you can't make anything that requires eggs unless your Dollar Tree sells eggs. So that is it. We hope you enjoyed and we will be back. We're going to be doing like a pizza, a fruit pizza. Uh-huh. Tomorrow we're going to try. It's tiny. We have to put 
We can put the rest of the pineapples, kiwi, strawberry, blueberry, and raspberry. It's tiny pizzas that I found in my cookbook. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's right here. I don't know if this is still available. I will look and see if this freebie is still available. It would be U.S. only. And I will have the link below this video, if it is. And Skyla went through and she picked... Show, can you show them the page that you picked? And we'll be making it. It just takes a pie crust mix, some sour cream, and cream cheese, which we bought. And then it's fresh fruit. And we bought fresh cherries, banana, kiwi, and we're going to use some of the canned pineapple. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Yep, show them. This so is the thing that, that, that we're going to put, that we're going to make. Right there. And what's that white stuff? Cream cheese. We This is cream cheese on the bottom. Yep. So we're going to try that. Yeah, I'm going to look and see if this is still available for you guys. And if it is, I will link to it down below and you can request your free copy. I think the pizza is a big success. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs>